Namaste, everyone. My name is Dr. Amisha Basnev. I'm 24 years old, contestant number 1020, coming all the way from Japa, Damag. Hello. Hope it's working now. So, hi again, Amisha. How hi. are you? I'm very much fine. Um, I had seen you had spoken a lot about skin and cosmetics. Yes. So, if you could change one thing about the beauty industry today, what would it be and why? Um, if it is one thing that I could change about beauty industry is like bringing more transparency to the ingredient. I'm not uh, someone who is offended by uh, beauty products or something like that, but I think there should be more transparency to the ingredient because a lot of people have no idea about ingredients and what to do with it and how it is formulated. So with trans transparency, we'd have a lot more idea about what is going on in our skin because skin health is our body health as well. And we must know, know what we are putting on. And if it was one thing, I would definitely change the, that one. Um, do you believe uh, makeup enhances one's natural beauty or mask it? Um, I think makeup is something that uh, it's, it depends on individual actually. Like everybody uses makeup for their own purposes. For someone, they, like, they love it when they use it. It, feels, it makes them feel confident and it makes them feel strong, bold and beautiful. And for someone, it just doesn't work. For someone, it's, just, uh, it's something like I just am okay without it. So I think it's an individual thing who wants to wear and who doesn't want. But having a beauty product in a market is an option that uh, telling people that if you want, you can wear it. If you don't, you shouldn't. Thank you. Welcome. Hi, Amisa. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, my last question is to ask you. What do you think about your beauty? Oh, for me, uh, beauty for a woman is uh, knowing herself uh, in the way that she can represent her herself into the people I with elegance and beauty as well uh, and also being intellectual and uh, knowing your surrounding as well because beauty cannot be like uh, it's a subjective thing but for me it's about representing yourself as a person and being authentic and as well as loving everyone around you and uh, making sure that you are there and uh, making people know that you are someone who are important and who is here to make a changes. Thank you so much. Hi, Amisha. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Um, since you're from Japa, yes. welcome to Kathmandu and Lalitpur. <laughs> Thank um, you. Have you noticed any difference thanks to our new mayor, Balan Shah, who has made some really important transformation? And if you were to advise him to improve on our cities, what would that be? Um, Yes, I've noticed a lot of beautiful changes in KTM because now it's a lot more uh, garbage free and a lot more cleaner and uh, I feel like if there's uh, some changes that I'd want balance her to focus is in the education system of uh, KTM and overall, overall country as well because I've seen the impact that he makes. It's not particularly in KTM but all over the world. Uh, as so, uh, I would want him to focus in more education sector as it is a uh, field that uh, is being very much pushed back because education system is these days collapsing because we talk about degrees and stuff like that where previously degrees and education used to be and worth from a country used to be simultaneous. But these days I feel like your degree and education and your worth from a country does not align well. So if uh, there is something uh, that I would wish someone to change is make sure that there is a positive changes. If the degree do not value your worth, then please make your degree like less cheaper so that everybody could have it. Um, and the degree is more tougher and it's more expensive and there is no worth to it even if you complete it. So I feel like education system these days is collapsing and I want someone to do something about it as well. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Amisha. Yes. You're a medical doctor, right? Yes. So what did you specialize in? Actually, I'm an MBBS doctor, so okay. it's like a general practitioner. I actually uh, do a lot of medicine, a lot of surgery as well, but I've not particularized in something. Okay. So, uh, you know, when, when people work with machines, you normally put a time limit yeah. that you shouldn't work more than 10 hours or 11 hours because after that the human yeah. faculty cannot process. Mm -hmm. But I believe doctors work for 18 hours, 20 yeah. hours, 36 hour shifts. Yeah. and you're dealing with live human beings. Yeah. So what do you think about that practice? I mean, 
it's very sad. I think, uh, right, like I said, it boils down to the fact that our country is not very conscious about doctors' mental health and physical health as well. They think that we as a doctor treat people, so who, but they forget that we also need a treatment as well. We are individual with mental health and physical health. So I request our government to make sure that we also should be taken care of and our work limits should be decreased and, you know, pace should be raised because it is really important for us also to be respected in a community. Thank you so much. Well done. Thank you.